Demystifying in vitro. Hello learners. Today, we're diving deep into the phrase, in vitro. It's a term that you might come across in various contexts, especially in the scientific world. But what does it really mean? Let's find out. In vitro is a Latin phrase. In Latin, in means inside or within, and vitro translates to glass. So, when you piece it together, the literal translation of in vitro is in glass. But why glass? Historically, glass containers, like test tubes or petri dishes, were frequently used in scientific experiments. So, this term evolved from that practice. In today's context, in vitro is often used in the scientific and medical fields. When something is described as being in vitro, it means that the procedure or experiment is being done outside of a living organism. Instead, it's done in a controlled environment, often in test tubes, petri dishes, or other laboratory equipment. For instance, you might have heard of in vitro fertilization or IVF. This is a process where an egg and sperm are combined outside the body, in a lab, to form an embryo, which can then be implanted into a uterus. To understand in vitro even better, it's useful to know its counterpart, in vivo. While in vitro refers to experiments done outside of a living organism, in vivo pertains to experiments or procedures done inside a living organism. If a drug is tested in vivo, it means it's being tested in live animals or humans to see its effects. So, the two terms represent different environments. In vitro, outside a living body, in a controlled lab setting. In vivo, inside a living organism. And there you have it. The phrase, in vitro, demystified. Remember, language is not just about words but the stories and concepts behind them. Every time you come across, in vitro, you'll now know it refers to something happening in a lab setting, outside of a living being. We hope this video illuminated this interesting term for you. Stay curious, and happy learning!